Hey everyone, Cory from Aquarium Co-op. Today I want to talk about the squiggly little worm fish, the coolie loach. Now, you may already have one at home. You watched the pet store employee struggle to even catch it. It made it wormed out of the net and done its thing, but we're going to talk about keeping it alive today. They're not that difficult. That's a good thing. Kind of neutral pH in between 6.8 and 7.8 or so. They like to be in a group. 3, 4, 5, 700, any of those. They have a very low bio load in my opinion. So that means... What that means is they don't eat a whole lot. They're kind of a scavenger, although you do have to feed them. You want to feed them like some sinking pellets or blood worms or anything that's going to settle on the ground that doesn't get consumed by all the other fish. And they're a little bit shy, if you will. They're mostly nocturnal, so that means they want to come out when the light is dim or sunrise, sunset, that type of thing. So if you feed them after you turn the lights out, they're going to get nice and fat and plump. They get about you know the size of a cigarette or so even that round too if you're uh, doing it right so they're a really cool fish when you get to see them they're a horrible pain to catch you can breed them in captivity uh, but no one really spawns them intentionally they kind of just mate down in plant roots and stuff like that one of the some of the best plants you could do would be like java fern or anubias and get that those roots growing over wood and then as it grows down to the gravel it creates this little vine structure for them to hang out in and uh, they do really well. A lot of people ask, do coolie loaches eat snails? In my experience, they don't. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. They're not aggressive in my experience. Uh, about the biggest problem you run into is getting sick ones from the pet store. Like they, they get shipped like a, not a million, but like 400 to a bag, like from a wholesaler and they can get some bacterial infections and that kind of stuff. And then every once in a while, we kept on way too sharp of gravel and then get little uh, cuts on their little barbels, which that's the little whiskers they have on their face. And uh, so you want to keep them on like a, you don't have to keep them on sand, but a smoother substrate, like a nice rounded rock or a sand. And in sand, you'll watch them kind of burrow in a little bit and get food and have sand come out their gills. So that's kind of a cool feature, but do you realize you're not going to see them all the time? They come in like a black variety where it's just black. They come in striped. You can also get silver coolie loaches. There's actually, I think, I believe with the loach book at this time, 14 different types of coolie loach. So uh, but easy to keep. They're available at every PetSmart, Petco, chain store, mom and pop shop, something like that. If you ever have to catch them or you own a pet store, put them on very fine sand. This is the trick to catch them. So if you have them in a tank that's got very fine sand, then you get a net that's really coarse, so bigger holes. Then you just scoop them up like it's a shovel and sift all the sand through, and then you've caught your coolie loaches. Works out great for a store, also works out great at home. The other trick is put a little cave in there. They'll go in because it'll be nice and dark. Then you just pick up the cave and dump them into a net and move them on over. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little profile. If you want to see other profiles, check out the channel and good luck with your coolie loaches. They're great, great community fish, non-aggressive and get yourself a little herd of them. And uh, you know, when you get to see them, you'll be happy.